Good afternoon, my friends. How are you all? Just been watching your comments. A lot of you are very late today. Where have you been? <laughs> the sun is shining, so you get a pass. You get away with it for today. My name is Tony Darrick, and this is the House of Craft Network, where we love to share the love of craft. I'll say no more. That's it. Just love to share the love of craft. If you are watching on YouTube, please click that subscribe button. If you enjoy the show, please click the like button. And if you want to be notified every time we are live, make sure you click that bell and you will get that half an hour notice giving you that nudge to come and say hello. If you are talking on the live chat, it's lovely to see you all again. What have we all been up to? We're crafting, cooking dinner. What are we doing? Cooking anything nice for tea? What are we all up to? Let me know. On our other social media platforms, USA, um, Stamps By Me, lovely to see you all as well. Now, if you are wanting to be interactive, the best place to talk amongst the friends and the lovely Stamps By Me followers is over on the YouTube channel. However, if you're not bothered about going onto YouTube and talking, that's absolutely fine. If you want to sit silent and just watch the show, absolutely fine. You can do that. Please let us know your thoughts about the show. Did you enjoy it? Let me know. So today's a good day. We celebrated over 1 million views on our channel. I'm trying to get the number in my head. On Friday, if you remember, 1,159,369 views on our channel. Yay! Amazing, hey? Thank you so much because every time you come back, it's another view on our channel. So I've kept my balloons because they're still afloat and I thought they were pretty, although my hair is like static towards them sure Tim's put them behind me on purpose so my hair goes towards them so if you did manage to get the bundle from Friday absolutely well done incredible bundle incredible savings I can't wait to see what you're all going to do with it so don't forget as well if you did get involved and you did buy the bundle five winners are going to be picked for a 50 pound voucher tomorrow uh, Friday tomorrow no Friday <laughs> two days time uh, I'm going to pick five winners for £50 each to spend on the website and that's just a celebratory way of recognising the fact that you all mean the world to me so that will be on Friday as well but just before I get into what's happening today um, tomorrow night at eight o'clock I'm live in studio three doing a little mini album sort of book. So if you are wanting to get involved in that, tomorrow night at eight o'clock, Studio Three, and all you need is some six by six single-sided or double-sided papers. If you have single-sided, use those because you don't really see the other side. So have a look in your stash, dig them out, and we'll have some fun together. So that's tomorrow, eight o'clock. It has to be pushed on an hour, unfortunately, because my son's got um, an exam in his gymnastics. So we have to push things on for that Thursday, but it's eight o'clock tomorrow. So come and say hello. And that's it. Are we all all right? Ian's saying YouTube's the only way I say hello. And I'm saying hello right back at you. I hope the babies and the children are good as well, Ian. So let's say hello, hi Kay, hi Shirley, hi Julie, hi Irene, hi Enid. My gosh, where is everybody today? Where are you all? Hey, Studio 3, Sue says. Do you enjoy Studio 3? I absolutely do. It's amazing, isn't it? I am not going to be doing albums all the time, don't worry, because I've had a few people say you're going to do something different. <laughs> and I am absolutely loving my albums, so I might have to do two studios, you know. Studio 3 for books and Studio 3 for painting. You can come to both if you want, come and watch. I know you're all waiting for me to do some painting stuff as well why not so in today's studio i'm going to use this lovely one pressed flowers from one of our earlier collections this is on the website i've put it on um uh, with a saving today if you look underneath the show when i'm live now there are products underneath that i'm going to quickly talk through on the show and if you want to get them brilliant but if you have something in your stash that is going to work then dig it out and craft along or create something very similar don't forget to post your makes on our eureka fan page as well so quickly i just want to show you some of the products that i showed in studio three the other day because they're just too good not to show you all and i appreciate not all of you watch studio three so we have these lovely sort of paper collections here which have got some like A6 sort of postcard designs in here and they're a beautiful sort of like they're not tissue paper but they're not card weight but they're incredible and you get coloured ones and plain ones let me show you the coloured ones first so you get sort of these sort of designs this is the floral collection I mean look at these some of you have got these already, you've already bought them, you've probably got them home you can colour these if you want to, matte and layer them up but equally look at these 
Well, let me just find the right way because they are stunning. Look at that. Now in each one, you get a whole host of designs in the paper colours and in the vellum colours as well. Let's just move this out of the way. So there's a floral collection, there's a timeless collection. I'm not sure which way that goes that way. A timeless collection and there's a foliage collection. So they're all underneath the show. So have a look at them. I'm not going to go through them all because I've got, I want to get straight into demo. Here we go. Look at that. So beautiful. Wraps around belly bands, wraps around mini albums. I'm going to use these in my card today. So that's the floral one. And then there is some foliage and there is also some um, timeless ones, which have got like, um, let me just grab that one very quickly, actually. This one here. So they've got like this sort of effect on here where you get the photos and the sort of times and the vintage. And again, you get them in the vellum design as well. So they're really, really pretty if you're interested in those. And they're very inexpensive too. And then I just want to show you a set of vellum envelopes, which are gorgeous, which everybody needs. <laughs> Sorry. Um, look at these gorgeous envelopes here. The vellum, poppy card inside. I'm going to use these today as well. Um, just you just know that this is not a bill and these are for that extra special person so you get a lot of designs in here so you get some blue ones let's show you the blue one here we go look super easy super or for autumn summer vibes whatever you want to do great nails really they're a bit tatty at the moment honestly need to get them sorted i am going for my hair doing on monday i might go red I have been ginger, I have been blonde, I've been brown. I think the only way to go now is red. What do we all think? You're all probably thinking, no. Red with a fringe? Oh, to make me look younger. Right, let's craft. Yes, I have had a Kit Kat. Yes, I'm on form before anybody says anything. So let's craft. What am I doing? Right, okay. So, I have... If you haven't got this set here, let me just explain what you get in it. You get this super large die, which gives you this paper cut down the side. Let me show you it, because it's a belter. Look at this. So you can create a foot, you could create a mini album book. Um, I'm going to do a front on a card with this one. But it, and it's got the perforation, so if you want to do several pages in a book and tear them away, like a ticket book or anything like that, it's an absolute gorgeous one, this one. So you get that. And then you also, in the same collection, because obviously we've got this space here, which we fill with dyes. And I'll show you what other things you get in here too. So you also get these, look, they're stuck to my max, I'm ready to cut them. But you get branches, leaves, flowers, and some butterflies. And I'm going to cut these through, okay? So they all came out of the centre of that one. So they create beautiful foliage, which we're going to create a pretty card with today. But we're not just doing a card today. Not just doing a card today, we're doing a gift card. A card that does more than just a card and says something. It's got, it's a bit of a giftable, because I just like that. So I have a white card blank here, pretty easy, and ahead of time. Now I am using these papers, some of my favourites, as you all know, probably most of you have got them. We did these in some goodie bags, we've had them, they're on the website, but it's just the vintage ones that give you the vintage look on your cards, you know, like script and coffee stains and tea stains and, you know, just really, really lovely designs. Very good if you want to just add a touch of pink and get a vintage card. So I'm going to be using this one and I've already gone ahead and cut two of those large, can you see here, with that perforation down the side. Let's have a look. <gasps> Oh, Shirley's daughter's got red and black hair at the moment. I'm not that brave, Shirley, honestly. <laughs> so, Denise, question. When do you use regular cardstock V watercolour? So, watercolour cardstock, Denise, is more expensive than normal card. So, I'll always use normal card unless um, there's a need for watercolour card. Like, if you're wanting to do your no-line watercolour in or you want to do an image that's painted... The watercolour moves better on watercolour card because it's got a lot of cotton content, so it's easier and you get better results. But if I can get away with it with just everyday cardstock, I will. So it's just, who is it for? Is it for somebody you're not particularly bothered about? Or is it somebody who's that extra special person who you want them to only have the best? And yeah, that's your decision, not mine. Oh, Denise has these papers, brill. So it gives you like this sort of torn and you can sort of like do this look and distress it and create it like you've just absolutely torn it out of a book. So I'm just going to try 
and get sort of that sort of look because it's going on the front of my card here look can we see here but i want all this to be like as if it's torn so it doesn't look neat if that makes sense so what i'm going to do is first of all before i adhere it down is i'm just going to wrap some twine round just to be a little bit different today so there's no stamping today because it's wednesday and absolutely anything goes so I'm just going to wrap some twine around and just maybe get that extra vintage look going on. Just a few times and then we'll finish it off at the back. So now I've got sort of like, it really does look a little bit vintage, doesn't it? And then just to make it look a little bit more creative, I'm just going to add a pretty bow. And we'll just cut this off here. And I'm just going to tie it at the top. Is everybody feeling a little bit upbeat now the sun shines out a little bit better? Isn't it nice when the sun comes out, you start to feel a little bit better about what's going on in the world. A little bit more positive, a little bit more motivated. I like my bows to be like quite biggish. Spread them out a bit. Spread the legs on the bow a little bit if you want. Don't be afraid to be great. <laughs> who says that? Who 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 says that? Come on. <laughs> so any questions just give us a shout out and you know for anything goes on Wednesdays, if you want to email in or message me on Facebook before Wednesdays, give me a little bit of notice about something you'd like me to touch on, a stamp you need a little bit of help on, or I've used this stamp to the nines, I'd like you to maybe give us a little bit more inspiration on how we can use it further. Just let me know because I don't struggle for anything goes Wednesday, but I think God, there's just so much because I'm allowed to do anything. I'm like, oh, what do I do because I'm allowed to do anything? So if you want to sort of give us a shout out, absolutely, if there's anything I can help with, I will. So you can see now, look at this, look how pretty this is when you pop it on the front of a card. Just a little bit different to our norm, isn't it? And I like my bow now. So let's get some glue on the back of it. Let's get some tape on too. So I'm going to adhere it straight away. Now these would be great giftables as well. So which is always a bonus if you sell, if you sell like on a craft stand or something like that. So hi, Pat. Lovely to see you, sweetheart. Hi. Hi, Brian. A few of you have come now. Did you all forget? Because you're all sat in garden, eat, garden eating your croissants. I know what you lot are like. You're not like me with Yorkshire tea. <laughs> I'm just going to stick this onto the front here. on Friday as well I will announce the winner of all of the products that I used in studio as well okay so I don't think that's quite it's gone tatty now I need to do it again do it again Let's um, cut the leg on this one. Let's do it a bit smaller. That's it. Love Yorkshire tea, Enid. I know. Mind you, I am a coffee, coffee girl, but after two o'clock, definitely, definitely, definitely the tea. Roxy Lee's watching while she's cleaning. And good afternoon. Well, good morning, Peggy from the USA. Lovely for you to join us, sweetheart. So let's move on to using this fabulous die. Now I have another one cut, but I'm thinking I might put it on the back. So it, yeah, let's do it. So I cut two. So let's pop this one on the back. So our card sort of sees the design through. So it's not just decorated on the front. We'll do it on the back as well. 
But this dye, if you're thinking, oh, how can you make it like... I'll just show you in a second. Let me just pop this down. If you pop this onto your card, if you've got this at home, it might be a card you might, oh, you might want to do. Let's just move it down. But if you peel this back and stick it down, like so, if it was double-sided papers, you can do like a, a pocket full of flowers. So if you've got a dye that's got flowers, like the one that it comes with, actually, you could do a pocket full of flowers, like fold the corner back, uh, sort of like glue it down and then put flowers coming out of the corner. It looks really, really pretty. It looks like a torn piece of paper, which is the effect. So there we go. So we have our lovely front and back decorated. So it looks pretty all the way around. Really nice. So let's cut our dies. So they're on my plate here already, look. So these are all the dies that you get within. And they cut some four butterflies, five flowers, two sort of leaves, and then a load of like branches and twigs. Great if you're doing Christmas cards, although we did do something similar to this in Christmas. Are we all ready for Christmas? <laughs> Are we all ready for Christmas? I am. Not in the sense of gifts, in the sense of my business, we're all ready for Christmas. <laughs> my gosh, that'd be one step too far, wouldn't it? Let's just run this through then. I'm just using white card here, because I think if we want to add a touch of colour, we can with our watercolours. So I'm just popping all of these out here. Pop them on here. Just one second. So these are just a just a beautiful add-on. I mean, come on. Brown cardstock, if you didn't want to do them in white, that's absolutely fine. So I'll just pop these other ones out. See, you get the four flowers. And when you pop them all out, you've got all of your embellishments. So I'll just show you how gorgeous these are. I did cut a set before as well because more the merrier in my opinion i love foliage as you all know so here we go look so you've got four different types of flowers which you can put like beads in the center or sequins or um something like that anything you want to and then let's just set these aside for now so i've got lots of decorative elements to go out there now i might paint them up i'll see how i go so let's do something quite fun with the centre of this card. So seeing the design through. So let's just open our card here. So just open the card and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put two pockets in here. So I've got some paper pre-cut from our lovely paper collection. Then all I'm going to do is I'm going to create two little pockets, one on the left and one on the right. Now. I'm just showing you a quick project, but if you want to decorate the inside of the pages, you know, add your ink blending, um, you know, use what use what you've got in your stash. Be creative. Don't I do? I only get like an hour here, but you've got the t all the time in the world to be creative at home. Well, hopefully you have. Some of you still say there's not enough hours in the day, so I'm just popping glue down one side and the base. <laughs> So all of our new Christmas collection will work with last year's. So if you bought last year's pine cones, 
baubles, wood slices, uh, the words, they're all going to work with this year's, okay? I want you to dig them all back out and use them, okay? So I've been really, really careful this year in the sense that I don't want last year's to just be like last year's designs. I want you to dig last year's out um, and use them with. I am taking last year's designs back to the TV as well for all of those people that may be interested in getting last year's. Just because it's last year's doesn't make it any less um, worthy of this year's. Because I'm telling you, our last year's collection, Christmas collection, was the best ever. And in my opinion, it was the best Christmas collection of the whole companies. And I'm proud to say that because, well, we sold thousands of them. But the feedback you all gave me about how different it was, how versatile they were, best ever, best ever. And I was just like, yeah. So why not? Why not bring them back? We've got new viewers as well, which is so cool. So we've got these lovely two pockets. So here we've, you know, those lovely postcards. I've put them onto some cards, look. So the postcards that come in those little sets. And then you could do some gift cards some sets in if you wanted to. So the recipient can do note cards. If you've got a note card stamp, you can do that. What about a few note cards and a couple of envelopes, look. So not only do they get a card, they have a gift set too. Make sure you don't glue it too, there we go. Too tight so you can get your envelopes in. Make sure I get those in nicely. But you get the idea. So your note cards and your coordinating envelopes. Absolutely gorgeous. Let's just take those out for now. Right, let's decorate the front of this. Now, let me grab one of those lovely postcards. Now, if you don't have the postcards, it's okay. Dig out a paper pad, which has got a pattern on it. Choose a design. So I'm thinking something like this. Look at this. So you can see now how instantly our card is sort of like coming together. I like it on an angle. So I'm going to stick that absolutely flat. I love last year's Christmas collection, different than any I've seen. I know it was, it still is amazing. I have reordered it. So when we go back to telly, a lot of you might think, well, that's last year's, but there is new as well. But uh, for those of you that missed out, because I know a lot of you are still waiting for pine cones, bless you. Patient as ever. Um, like so and then let's decorate let's get some glue under here because that's just a bit too high for my liking just give that a second to grab the pine cones are the best i know i am going to do all new boards and sort of give them a new lease of life and because the pine cones work around the picture frame uh, <laughs> Me and my big mouth. Work around the picture frame dies we've got. <laughs> yeah, now you all know. <laughs> oh, Karen's gonna be like, oh Tony, for goodness sake. Moving on. Oh, I need another Kit Kat. <laughs> Let's bring in our embellishments from that same set, shall we? Moving on, quick. It's different again, but again, very versatile, very versatile. So I've got all of our embellishments here now. They are in white, but I intend on jazzing them up. So let's start building some sort of um, corner piece here. I think it looks really nice in white, but I can't always do white, can I? Oh, I know. <laughs> I know, Shirley, I am a nightmare. Don't ever tell me your, your secrets in life because I don't intentionally do it. Honestly, I do not. I just, I get giddy. Too giddy. Mind you, that's only in craft, I guess. Carol's now calling me giddy kipper, I know. Do you know what, though? When you say giddy kipper, nobody knows what you mean. Ian will know what I mean, won't you, Ian? Giddy kipper, that's what we say, we're giddy. Right, so let's get some composition on this card. Where are we going? Where are we going with it, Tony? Can we see here? It's going to be stunning. I know that either way. So let's get some twigs in here too. Think about up oh, wrong way. Could do a, like a bird's nest <laughs> if you've got like some dye eggs, you know, like 
Do you know what I mean? I just need to hold that down. Sorry, I'll just pop that there and it'll just hold it down so you can see what I'm doing because it's flipping and flapping around. Right, I think I know what I'm doing. She says. She says. Can't keep out quiet, Karen, I know. Oh, who cares? Mind you, there is a few weeks for people to copy. <laughs> No, it's not possible, she says. Right, let's pop that on there. So let's get a little bit of composition going on. Our now, it, I'm going to put it all down as white, but then I might have to add some colour to break it up so it doesn't all look like it's sort of like blending into one. I, if you have the courage, you know, to leave things white, it does look incredible, honestly. And don't be afraid to hang your embellishments off the edge of the page. There you can see it there, look. So let's say hello on Stamps By Me page. So hi, Tina. Hi, Janet. Hi, Mary. I'm sat knitting some red, white and blue flowers, Tina says. Beautiful. Make sure you show us your makes, Tina. Let's get this down here. And then we have butterflies. These are all going to get sparkled up, you know that, don't you? And we have flowers. So what I've done is I have used one of the Teresa Collins uh, rub-ons on some of the paper that's from this here. The same paper, look. OK, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick this down first on some pads and then I'm going to build the rest of my foliage in and around. Oh, okay, I'll see you later. Have a great day, darling. Make sure my card's absolutely straight. going to continue and build so let's get some more on here now i think we are going to have to add, mind you i might just add color on the pink pretty pink on the pretty flowers and we'll just add a touch of pink we're going to add some sparkle anyway let's get some more twigs in here Paul looking fabulous. It's looking all right, isn't it? So let's get some flowers on here. Now the flowers are lovely because you can 3D them. They sit on top of each other, should you wish. But I'm just going to pop them on white and then we'll add some colour. So it might look like it's all blending into one at the moment. But honestly, it will come to life as soon as I add a touch of colour. So I always see, look at that. That just is so pretty. Um, I always see a design through, as I always say. Karen's got this dye but never used it. Like a lot of other craft stuff, laugh out loud. Come on, Karen, get dug out, darling. I'm just going to do a freestanding flower there because I think that'll be pretty. Then we've got some solid ones. Butterflies too. got to go on the butterfly has to go on <laughs> oh what are we like so these papers you can color behind and the color comes through so you can color the back side of the vellum as well if you want to 
um, you know, have the courage to play around with them. They're really inexpensive to say you've got vellum in there as well. So, or if you've got vellum at home, you know, you can colour the backside of your vellum. So, if you've got some in your stash, get it out. So, just a couple of things while I'm just tarting this up, as we would say. Um, have you, I'm not saying you have to vote for me, but Crafts Beautiful Awards are out. Um, and there's lots of amazing brands that are very deserving of um, votes on there but basically it's not the stage where you vote for a company it's a stage where you recommend the company so you know where um the companies later come out saying it's between company 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 it's the first stage before that where you recommend the company or the product and then it gets sort of dwindled down to three or four and then you vote for that particular one out of the three or four that's um been shortlisted so if you want to um go and support the brands that you love all you need to do is go to Crafts Beautiful Awards 22 and just pop your nomination in there. It takes about four minutes. And when it comes to, I have a lot of people asking this, it always asks for your personal details and you don't want to put your personal details in. Now, I voted and what I did was I just put a letter X in any of the ones that I didn't want to answer. However, it does require your email. But if you want to put X for your postcode and X for your house number and X for your telephone number, just put a letter in. It doesn't matter. I did it and it went through absolutely fine. I really didn't want to put my details in. Um, so, you know, have the courage to go and uh, vote with confidence is what I'm trying to say, really. So let's just um, get some colour on here. Now, I'm going to get some pink on those flowers because it's vintage and I want to bring it to life. So let's just grab one of my smaller paintbrushes here. Now, can I just grab an ink pad? Is that OK? Just one second. Won't be a second. <laughs> so because... Oh, it's all right. I've got my watercolours here. I'll use these ones. I'm just going to add a touch of pink to these flowers just to elevate so it's not all blending into one. I think probably a lot of you a lot of you have voted already. So when I add the pink on here, you're probably thinking, well, why didn't you paint that before you put it down? I want it to be quite sporadic. I'm not precious about it being even. I just want it to have, have a touch of colour, more like a highlight than full colour. might add a touch of green very pale in fact let's go teal because it's vintage just down one side of the leaf not at all because the white looks really cool but having those two pockets inside the cards really really cool so if you want to add some you know some teas or seeds or hot cocoa uh, packets or something like that you absolutely can you know just for a pretty inexpensive way you can make your card look extra special and you've taken the time to obviously make it so adding two cups of cocoa packets or something like that really just makes it that extra special doesn't it let's just have a look i'm pretending not to have seen it what are do you have a... <laughs> you lot, stop. Do you have a... Bu I'm being bullied by the... Well, yeah, you're all going to love me. It's so funny because... <laughs> you're going to laugh. So you all bully me, don't you, about this blinking box. I'm never going to live it down till the day I retire about that box. Me going, yeah, the boxes, and then, yeah, the boxes, this size, and yeah, the boxes. <laughs> I must have repeated myself about 10 times until I realised you were all asking me the size of the box on purpose as me trying to be super kind. <laughs> but anyway, so we're bringing the box back. <laughs> so the box that caused me all the pain, the box is coming back. <laughs> and you know what? I sent it through to Karen to have a look at because obviously Karen spell checks and everything for us to make sure extra eyes is always helpful. And she sent me one back. Not how gorgeous it was. She sent me one back saying, I thought you were through with the box. I'm like, well, you know, you know. 
So I'm just adding some glue to these leaves and all of these berries and twigs and buds. And I'm just going to totally bring this sparkly project to sparkly life. <laughs> In fact, we'll put some in middle of flowers, look. So don't be afraid to leave some of the leaves white because I, I think it looks really pretty. And then we will add... So if you did miss the 1 million view show, do you know what? That show has had over 12,000 views. 12,000 views. You need to go and watch it. It was a good show. It was really good. So I'm using um, the texture glitter here. Let's pop in here, look. Looks like a Christmas card. Never give up. Christmas card. <laughs> Not the box, I know. The box. I'm sorry, everyone. Oh, I ain't got me over either, you think, car. Uh, it's in my craft bag from telly. Do you know what? You won't believe how many people at telly said, can I have an Uber? Can I have a vacuum? I felt like I should have been on QVC. Oh. Oh, so gorgeous. See it catching the sparkle? Yeah, look at that. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's just get rid of all of the excess, though. Don't worry, I've got a good vacuum. So let's just add a few pretty sequins around. I might actually add some pink ones to the branches and make it look like blossom. How's that sound? And then, this is the card done. Now, we are only, what are we, half an hour into show. That was such a quick demo. Now, whilst we're doing this, because I've got through this demo so quickly, does anyone have any questions about anything? Now's the time to get it off your chest. I've got like 10 minutes with you all. I'll put my sequins on and we'll talk about other bits and pieces. But has anybody got any burning questions? It's not a Dyson, Carol. Any questions about anything? Studio 3... Does anybody want me to do anything else? Moving forwards. I mean, we have got lots of stuff in the pipeline already and I can't tell you too much about what's going on, but we have real... Stamps by me really have got it going on. We've got another HSN show in the pipeline. But if they've got any questions, now's probably a time because I have a little bit of time, which is scary, really. It's normally chasing my tail, aren't I? So I'm even adding more sparkle here, look. So these are the, se these are the gemstones, which are... Gorgeous. So I'm adding gemstones and I'm going to add some pretty sequins too. And I'm going to add some sequins as well. I'm going to go for the these sort of oystery ones as well because I think they'd be really pretty with the vintagey theme. Karen, stop. We're not talking about the box. <laughs> I'm not even looking up now because you're all going to say something about a box. Does the hoover fit in the box? Look, I think it's fair to say none of you have got any questions. <laughs> Listen, I'll get you all back in Studio 3. Don't you worry about that. Anyway, moving on. I've got a brand new concept to show you all in a few weeks. And I mean brand new concept. You are going to be blown away. Never been seen before. Lindy, it's the um, neat and tidy storage box. It's on the website, sweetheart. Um, never been seen before concept. Any guesses? I can hold me on water on this occasion. I literally have to because it will. If if if, if anybody else finds out about it, I'm done. <laughs> so I will not be telling you anything about this. But any ideas? So let, oh look at that. Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's just fill inside. Let's get some cards inside so it looks nice. So let's just pop a card in each side. I'll do this as a giveaway. Pop, pop a comment after show. Look at this. How cute is that? Pop a comment after show. 
I might even pop an envelope in if I can squeeze one in. In fact, what I will do, what I will do is because I'm going to do it as a giveaway, the set from the floral collection. If you pop a comment underneath this video after I've gone off air, I'll pop these in two and I'll announce it on Friday. Look, there's the vellum ones on that side. And here is the pattern one. So you're getting a free set of the lovely new papers and vellums. I'll put the card to the front on this one. Nice little gift for you all. How nice is that? I'd be chuffed if I got that. There we go. Look at that. There we go. And you could actually embellish the centre because I've got some butterflies and things spare. Got a whole load of sparkle going on there so that's the front and then in the inside you've got that lovely gift which you would decorate the pockets and things like that if you wanted to so don't forget pop a comment underneath this video when i've gone off air and i'll pick a winner on friday with all of the other winners with the list i'll have to write myself a list because i've got so many giveaways to shout out for remind me on the day because i'm a nightmare you know i'm like i go off air and go oh no the giveaways so make sure you remind me any questions am i getting an early bath Oh, so I'm on TV on Monday. So, so Karen, question, question. Can't find Pretty Penny on the website. We don't have anything left. We have like single figures. So the ones that were left are not on the website. We've taken them down. There's pretty much nothing left, unfortunately. Um, I'm sorry about that, sweetheart. You are eligible to win if you are in the US. Of course, Linda, we never leave anybody out. Looks gorgeous. So, a couple of things then. Tomorrow night, 8 p.m., Studio 3, and we're going to do a little bit of a album. It's got a bit of a concept. It does require a little bit of measurement, so we're sort of like stepping on from the no measurements to a little bit of measuring. But you are going to need some 6x6 six six papers, whether it be patterned on both sides, preferred one side, so we're not wasting. So if you have papers in your stash that you haven't used and you need to get used, dig them out and we'll use them together. Um, come and say hello. And then what we are going to do is I'm going to incorporate another studio, which is going to be painting and stamping and card making studio three as well. So you can pick and choose or come and say hello at both. Cause I appreciate not everybody wants to do books and things like that, but I know a lot of you are loving the books. So I'll leave it at that. If you have any questions, let me know, pop a comment underneath here. After I've gone off air, I'll do a giveaway for this lovely card gift set. And I'll see you all on Friday. One o'clock uh, tomorrow night as well, 8pm, don't forget. I'll see you all later, everyone. Bye, guys. See you later.